and welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. Okay, so the last message that's come in for today is how can you get in touch with this beautiful heart of yours? Okay, that we've a lot of us have shut it down, right? In childhood, we've decided we don't want to feel anything. I was watching this beautiful movie on trauma um, by Dr. Gabor Mate. I hope I didn't destroy his name just then. <laughs> and um, it was just beautiful. And as I finished watching that video, I thought, oh, I have to keep working. <laughs> I have to keep doing these videos and I have to keep telling people about your past is a gift, right? Your past is a gift, not just the book, but your past is a gift. Because it's in childhood that we shut down this beautiful heart. It's in childhood when we look at these beautiful grown-ups and we are the love and we're here to be the love and to give the love and they reject it. They don't know what to do with it. It feels like rejection. It's not that they deliberately reject it. It's just that they don't know what to do with it. And so it feels like, oh, I've been given this heart and I can't use it you know <laughs> so we shut it down we can't use our beautiful heart it's not wanted our love is not wanted right and so we go into the world thinking that we're faulty we're defective there's something wrong with us that we couldn't be loved when really it's the other way around <laughs> the other person had an opportunity to remember the love that they are the love that they were you know more importantly the love that you always are because you never stop being that even if you've forgotten that you are the love and you've buried it somewhere way down deep and you don't want to look at it right so we come as a beautiful opportunity to these grown-ups to get back into love to remember what love is to rejoice in that beautiful love that they are and the beautiful love that you are and be grateful that you've reminded them of who they are, you know, they are the love. And so we go into our adult years thinking, oh, I'm faulty, I'm defective, there's something wrong with me, I couldn't be loved. But is it? <laughs> are you defective? Are you faulty? And this feeling defective and faulty creates this huge hole in our heart, right? That all it wants is to love. It wasn't so much that it wanted to be loved. It's not so much that you want to be loved. To be honest, it's the opposite. It's that you want to love because that's what this heart was given to you for. To love. I've got this gorgeous heart and all I want to do is love. And I throw it out there and every time I throw it out there, it gets thrown to the floor and stomped on, <laughs> right? Not even just thrown to the floor, but half of the time it gets stomped on. <laughs> like, pfft, it's rubbish. I don't want that. And you're sitting there with this beautiful heart still full of love, right? Because for a long time we try, as children, we try, you know, to give our love to these grown-ups. And for some of them, we are successful. You know, for some, we, there's a little spark. We can remind them a little bit of the love they are. But for many, no. And that's why we all go into our adult years feeling there's something missing. You know, we tried to give this beautiful love away and nobody wanted it. It's like this wonderful gift that you have, the only gift. The only gift that matters is this beautiful love. And they don't want it. What do you do with that? You know, and that's where I was watching this beautiful video and so many people with so much trauma, you know, because they were the love and nobody wanted it. And so you go into your adult life feeling empty, empty. Because it's almost like you've you've also thrown it on the ground and stomped on it now 
they've done it to you that many times that you decided that's me as well. I'm this love that I am. I'm going to throw it on the ground and I'm going to stomp on it. You give up and you go into your adult life trying, trying so hard to find love in all sorts of wonderful places. Sometimes we try to find love in others, other people. Sometimes we try to find love in things. You know, we feel that that, you know, we get that car, we get that house, we feel validated, we feel important, we feel that we have value. Now we have value. Now someone wants us, now someone loves us. But it's never about someone else loving you. It's never about someone else. It's always about you. You loving you. Being the love. You being able to give your heart. Give your love. With open arms. Because that's who you are. That's who we all are. Just love. That's all we want to do. Just love. Give our love. And watch it just light up someone else, something else, anything else. It's funny, for the longest time I always thought it was about receiving the love. And it's not. Yes, it's nice to receive love. It's nice when you get a cuddle. It's nice when you, you know, get a, a hug that makes you feel, mm, you know, I'm loved. But we are loved in every moment by the universe, by nature, by the angels. You know, there's a whole other realm behind the curtains that's loving us in every moment. What hurts us more than anything is not being able to give our love because that's what we came to be. That's what we came to do. This thing about doing and being, <laughs> that's all it's about. Giving our love being the love and others receiving us receiving that beautiful love acknowledging seeing it you know seeing that that's what we are we are love and so we go through life not being seen for who we really are for who we truly are we're not seen you see so we're trying to turn it all back you know and go back to that moment where when they took that love that you gave them and they threw it on the ground and they trampled on it <laughs> one day you decided that that's what you were going to do as well with your own heart and we want to undo that we want you to take that heart off the floor and we want you to pick it back up and we want you to put it back and let it fill you. All right, my darlings. So I want you to sit with that today. Pick up that beautiful heart off the floor just because they couldn't appreciate it. It doesn't mean that you have to leave it there. Pick it up. It's your heart after all. And put it back where it belongs. Alright, my darling. I love you so much. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.